What's up, soccer fans? Mike Guyomi, sons of a pitch, Soccer Central, back to bring you picks and predictions for match day 11. This is it for this window, last game of the window. Let's get right into the picks right after the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match day 10 it was. Not the best for picks and predictions, but wow, what a result for Canada soccer. United States men's national team reeling, Mexico reeling. Crazy, crazy day. The winners on the day, Panama and Canada are your big winners from match day 10. Let's get into match day 11 coming up on the 2nd. Just a couple days from now, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button as well. If you like soccer, this is the place to be. Sons of a Pitch Soccer Central for everything CONCACAF soccer. All right, first game up. Jamaica against Costa Rica. Jamaica, they're pretty much done, right? They're, uh, they're, they're, they're hanging on by a thread right now um, to their qualification hopes. Honduras is officially eliminated. Jamaica... Lost in Panama. They started out well with that penalty by Mikel Antonio, but could not finish the job. Costa Rica went to the Azteca and got a point. So uh, they've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves and trying to catch Panama for that fourth spot or possibly Mexico and or the United States who are sitting on 18 points. So this is going to be a good game. The odds come in at plus 190 for Jamaica at home. Costa Rica comes in at plus 165 and the draw at plus 200. Look, this game, uh, for, for me, this is pretty simple. Costa Rica still has a good chance of qualifying. Not a good chance, but at least a chance. Jamaica, they would have to win out and uh, have a lot of results go their way in order to qualify for 2022. So this one's simple for me. I think Costa Rica is going to come out. They're going to smash Jamaica in the teeth and end their hopes officially to have them officially eliminated from contention for 2022. My pick, Costa Rica to get it done at plus 165 odds. Next up, the United States against Honduras. United States went to Canada, lost 2-0 to the Canucks. Now they face Honduras in St. Paul, Minnesota, where the elements are going to play a huge part once again. United States comes in at minus 550, Honduras at plus 1600, and the draw at plus 575. Look, for Honduras, they're done. They're officially eliminated, sitting on three points. They lost both home games now. In this window, they are officially done. They're traveling to St. Paul, Minnesota to go out in that cold and uh, be miserable for absolutely no reason whatsoever. United States is going to try and bounce back from that rough loss against Canada. They know they've got to pick up three points in this game, period. So, I expect Honduras to show up but not be full of intensity like they would if they were sitting in the fifth spot or possibly even the fourth spot in the standing. So this game for me, it's all United States all day long. Bad decision by Greg Berhalter to start Jossie Zardes up top. I thought maybe it would be a spark because he scraps and that was going to be a scrappy game against Canada. However, it didn't work. The US MNT Twitter is going insane right now, as they rightfully should be. Um, this one, though, the US has got to win. If the United States does not pull three points out of this, it's time to hit the panic button for the US MNT. But I can't see that happening. I've got United States winning this game. No problem at home over a reeling eliminated Honduras side. USA minus 550 is my pick. All right. So, guys, check out Bet US. All right. Right off to uh, off in the, the uh, comments down there as well as in the description. Bet US, 125% sign up bonus, guys, up to $2,500. Huge opportunity to get in and make some money. We had a bad window uh, last la the last window, lost a couple picks, but hey, the All Star members did well with the over unders. Went straight up four for four on the over unders, guys. Get in on BetUS. Click that link. Join up today. Make your first deposit. It is an affiliate program, so I do make a small portion of your first deposit. But hey, guys, so support the show and the growth of soccer here in North America. All right, next game up, we've got El Salvador against Canada, against the number one team in the Octo Canadian Soccer 
is a revolution that is worldwide. I mean, this is uh, this is craziness, guys. Uh, El Salvador, they're sitting on nine points. They got a victory over Honduras in the last game. It's going to be at the Cuscatlan Stadium there in El Salvador. So I don't expect them to go down easy. They still do have a slight, slight chance at catching Costa Rica and Panama. Uh, but talent-wise, Canada is just too good. Look at what they did against Honduras in Honduras. Look at what they just did to the United States. Going any other way, a team that has not lost yet in the Octo, which is absolutely insane. The odds come in at minus 105 for the Canadians. El Salvador is at plus 325 and the draw at plus 220. I got to go with the favorite here, guys. There's no doubt in my mind, Canada, they're not going to lose in uh, a game like this. They might they might end up going with the draw. We could see that um, with Canada. They're going to be losing. Uh, they will not have a couple players due to yellow card accumulation. They No Alfonso Davies, no Steven Estacchio. Um, Will he play in a role in this? I don't think so. I think we're high enough now. We know we can work without him. There's no sense in pushing this guy back in um, for something like that. But you know what? If he's available and he traveled, then hey, it's all good. But uh, this is going to be a good game. I don't think it's going to be a complete blowout like the USA-Honduras game. But i got to go with Canada to stay atop the table, get the full three points, and basically solidify their place in Qatar 2022. They're pretty much there already. I mean, let's be serious. They're they're sitting on 22 points right now. The the number five spot is Costa Rica, um, which is now I believe nine points behind them. Um, so there's there's they're basically in. However, they're not officially in, and until that happens, they got to keep fighting hard. And and the goal now for John Herdman and the Canadian soccer team is to stay unbeaten throughout World Cup qualifying, which would be an insane, insane feat for Canada soccer, thinking of where they were and that they wouldn't even have been in this position had COVID not happened and they uh, didn't allow for the, uh, they did the FIFA rankings instead of actually playing games to put teams into the World Cup. So Canada, my pick to get it done. I say they get it done. All right, guys, last up. Before we get into the last game, Mexico and Panama, which is going to be a great, great game. Check out our membership options down below. We've got our first team starter where you're going to get your loyalty badges, your custom emojis, and your name in the scroll below me. Only $1.99 a month, guys. Helps support the growth of the game here in CONCACAF. We also have our designated player option. All of those perks I just mentioned, plus your name in the description, and 20% off of Sons of a Pitch Soccer Central merchandise. Only five bucks a month. Now, for the sports betters, guys, this is for the real diehards that are watching this video, getting ready to go to the book and get that inside take. $9.99 a month gets you all the perks I just mentioned, plus access to our exclusive video every single week with over under picks, prop bet picks as in a player to score, parlay, and occasionally BTTS. Only $9.99 a month, you're going to win that back off of one or two correct betting picks. Guys, it's just that simple. Check out the join button down below. It's right next to the subscribe button if you're on an Android device. If you're on an iPhone, make sure you go on your computer to the YouTube page, to the channel, hit join, and then when you log back into your phone, everything will be there for you. All right, last game of the window, Mexico against Panama at the Azteca. Mexico sitting on 18 points right now. Panama sitting on 17 points. These two teams are like this. They are real tight. Can Panama continue this amazing run through World Cup qualifying? It's not quite as impressive as Canada's run, but it's still pretty damn impressive because I don't know many people that had Panama being that qualifying team for CONCACAF. Going into the Aztec is going to be tough. Costa Rica, remember, Costa Rica's playing Jamaica, and they could leapfrog um, Panama or come really, really close there to Panama. Or to, uh, yeah, Costa Rica could get really close to Panama there if there's a result for Mexico and they get the three points. So this is going to be a very good game. Uh, the odds come in at minus 325 for Mexico. Panama is at plus 1,100 dogs and the draw at plus 390. The way this qualifying cycle has gone, I might throw five bucks on Panama just for fun. At 1,100 odds, Mexico has not been playing great. Panama has been punching above their weight this entire time. So I could see it happening, but uh, my my gut and my real pick goes to Mexico. I think they get it done at home. They're going to beat Panama. They're just too strong, too much talent. I think they get it done. They're going to want to bounce back after that draw at home against Costa Rica in last night's game. So uh, I expect Mexico to come out real, real strong. My pick is Mexico minus 
325. All right, guys, there's my picks for match day 11. This is it for this window. We got one more window left coming up in a few weeks, and then it's all but done for CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. So it has been a hell of a ride. We have made a ton of money and can't wait to win some more. All right, I'm going to put up my spreadsheet with uh, with all of my picks and predictions for you guys to screenshot here and take to the book. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. We'll be live for two games in this match, day 11. We'll be live for USA, Honduras, and El Salvador, Canada. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your bets, and we'll see you real soon.